Filing a K-1 visa petition, Form Y-129F, is a vital step for U.S. citizens planning to bring their foreign fiancé, E, to the United States for marriage. This visa category, commonly known as the fiancé visa, allows couples to reunite and eventually marry in the United States. Successfully completing Form 1129F is essential to initiate this process, but it can be complex and requires careful attention to detail. In this guide, we will provide a comprehensive step-by-step -step overview of how to complete Form I-129F, along with essential tips and considerations to help you navigate the process smoothly and increase your chances of approval. Please note that immigration processes and requirements can change, so always consult official government sources and consider seeking legal counsel for your specific situation. Filing a K-1 visa petition, Form I-129-NEF, is a crucial step for U.S. citizens who want to bring their foreign fiancé to the United States for the purpose of getting married. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete Form I-129-F. Obtain the form. You can download Form Y-129-F from the official U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, website, https wuscs.gov forms, or request a physical copy by calling USCIS at 1-800-375-5283. Review the instructions. Before filling out the form, carefully read the instructions provided with Form Y-129-F, HTTS, WWUSCIs.gov I-129-F, to understand the requirements and eligibility criteria. Gather required documents. Collect all the necessary supporting documents, which may include proof of U.S. citizenship, such as a copy of your birth certificate, U.S. passport, or certificate of naturalization. Proof of your intent to marry, such as engagement photos, correspondence, or evidence of visits. A passport-sized photo of you and a passport-sized photo of your fiancé. Proof that any previous marriages for both you and your fiancé, E, have been legally terminated, such as divorce decrees or death certificates. Remember that the key is to provide a comprehensive and consistent picture of your relationship throughout the petition. USCIS is looking for genuine and ongoing commitment. So make sure the evidence you submit supports that narrative. Any other required documentation as specified in the instructions. Complete Form I-129F. Follow these guidelines to complete the form. Use black ink and write clearly. You can also type your responses if the form is being filed electronically. USCIS processes a vast number of immigration applications and petitions, and many of these documents contain critical information that affects the lives of applicants and their loved ones. Illegible or messy handwriting can lead to misunderstandings, errors, and processing delays. Using black ink helps ensure that your responses are clear and easy to read. Provide accurate and truthful information. Use NA not applicable if a question does not apply to your situation. Include the appropriate filing fee. Check the USCIS website for the current filing fee for Form Y-129-F. Make the payment in the form of a check or money order payable to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Sign and date the form. Both you and your fiancé, the petitioner and beneficiary, must sign and date the form where indicated. Assemble the package. Organize the completed Form Y-129-F supporting documents and the filing fee payment in a neat and organized manner. Make copies of everything for your records. Mail the package. Send the complete K-1 visa petition package to the appropriate USCIS lockbox facility. The address can change, so it's essential to check the USCIS website for the most up-to-date information and mailing instructions. Wait for USCIS processing. USCIS will review your petition and may request additional information or documentation if needed. Processing times can vary, so be patient. USCIS approval. If your petition is approved, USCIS will forward it to the U.S. Department of State's National Visa Center, NVC, for further processing. Consular Processing Your fiancé will be instructed on how to complete the necessary steps for the K-1 visa interview at the U.S. Embassy or consulate in their home country. K-1 Visa Issuance Upon successful completion of the interview and medical examination, your fiancé will receive a K-1 visa to enter the United States. It is important to consult with an immigration attorney or expert for specific guidance tailored to your situation, as immigration processes and requirements can change over time. Additionally, USCIS and the U.S. Department of State websites provide valuable resources and updates for visa applicants.